Hey, what's good, y'all? It's me, Tim Keys, and I'm back with another video. This time, I wanted to show you software called uh, Rip X Deep Remix, and it's been out for a while, and it is awesome. And so, what I'm going to do right now is I'm waiting on this software to load a track, a custom track that I've been working on, so I can show you exactly what its benefits are, because it is it's pretty great all right so here we go <clears throat> basically what it does in a nutshell is it takes audio tracks and it can separate the whole audio tracks into you know various stems so you know you could have vocals synths guitars piano um drum lines beats percussions and what it will do is it will sell uh <laughs> can't talk it will separate all the elements of those tracks into separate stems so that's one huge component so on that level if you're like if you're somebody who works in a church doesn't have access to a lot of musicians or a lot of equipment and you're trying to get the music going and you know you want some additional assistance to accompany your choir or your your worship team or whatever this software is ideal for you um it is also can be used for um let's say you you play in a band and you need help with you know taking a, a song that you're working on and you need to transpose it to a different key and you need to you know you don't have access to the sheet music but you need the sheet music so you can play the song um, this is good for that because you can convert everything to midi and then go from there and i'm going to show you that right now so i got the track loaded up and let's see what it pulls up bear with me this is a track i have been working on for a client years ago let's see What you can do is let's go with it. pull back all the other components and for the most part it's got some of the synthesizer but you get the voice See if I can loop this. So it's playing consistently. Uh, oh no! Come on! There we go. Part of me got a new mouse trying to figure out how to do all the bells and whistles with it. So I got the track 
and you can do quite a few things from this this point i can take everything and let's say i want to export it i can save it as midi midi notes so if you had a piece of music and you didn't necessarily know all the keys you couldn't find it you could use this transpose it to MIDI or MIDI notes run it through a software like Sibelius and you know now you don't have to have all like put all the time into translating the like translating the notes trying to hear everything and playing it out you can use this and bounce it to MIDI um, if you're a church you know and you need stems or you're a band and you need stems <coughs> pardon me or backing tracks then this is ideal for you because yeah it literally will take everything and put into a backing track so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create everything as a single file now i can put everything in separate layers or single stems i'm going to save it as a single file i'm going to export it so now i have everything broken up as a single file Oh yeah, single file. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to export everything to MIDI. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Now, if I wanted just a selection, I can choose my selection. I could do a loop. In this case, I don't need to. I'm going to select all. And I'm going to export this out again. Now I'm going to, pardon me, I'm going to open up Reason. And what I'm going to do, I hope I didn't create a whole bunch of feedback because that would be terrible because I didn't shut that off. So now what I'm going to do is first I'm going to import the MIDI file and we're going to see what happens. From my desktop and custom MIDI. I'm going to throw this in and, and see what it does. All right, so this has converted all four tracks into MIDI information. I don't know what it's gonna sound like. <laughs> That's a whole different story. Because one thing about working with MIDI is, you know, sometimes when you do these conversions, it will take everything and just, you know, <laughs> create all sorts of crazy stuff with it. So you never know what you're gonna get exactly. But, you know, we'll, We'll see what we got. Come on. I don't want automation. What I'm trying to do is basically trying to get rid of the automation lines because I know these will cause problems. There we go. So I'm going to start with this line and we're going to hear what it sounds like. Let's turn that low because I don't know what that's going to sound like. Let's see. Ooh. All right. So when they converted it, one thing I will say about this is I played with it a couple times. When you convert your stuff to MIDI, it will pick up on the artifacts depending on how it decides to separate the track. So while we were in the remix software, there were vocals. Even though I had it set up to pull the vocals, it separated the, it picked up on some of the synth tones and those have to be deleted. The other thing this does is it also
Interesting. So it didn't pull this one that well. It did detect a bunch of notes. So if you were going to take audio files and convert it to MIDI, you know, you had to be careful because A, it pulled some of the information that wasn't vocals and it put it on the vocal track. That's one thing to consider or the one thing to look out for. The other thing is I had to delete all of the information, you know, right, pitch band. So that also has an impact on how things are translated. Mind you, I'm working in Reason. If you're taking this and, and putting it in the software like Ableton or FL Studio, it may not do that. Now, the other thing I could do is I could go and adjust my semitones. So that does some things to it, but yeah, there's a lot there. So the drawback of this version of the software is once you convert it to MIDI, it pulls a lot of things that are not necessarily in the initial track, and the MIDI is definitely not perfect. But you got stuff that you can work with. I'm gonna pause that because that's terrible gonna mute this one and I'm gonna go back and see how it handled this track and let's see yep <laughs> that sounds oh she let's do something real quick. I was like, why is that playing so fast? It's playing fast because the initial track was 90 BPM and this was like 120. So that'll do it. Picked up a lot of stuff, but as you can hear, it has got a lot of junk. I'm gonna stretch it out. Yep, still a mess. Pitch band information. I don't know why it modulates. That sounds like some Star Wars. <laughs> it sounds like some Star Wars stuff. Yep. Let's turn that up. It's also not in the initial key that the track is played in. So there's that. But we can have Jaws, the remix. And let's see what it does to the top track.
took everything. Some harmony. Yep, you get some harmony. But not not a whole lot. And when you put it all together, let's see what happens. Not okay in 2021. Absolutely not. <laughs> I think we're not going to do this video. And we're going to stop.